Schwarber going down today? Yeah, we talked to him yesterday after the game, and uh, he took it really well. Uh, we're doing it to hopefully reset him, uh, get him back up with a fresh start. As you would expect, he was very professional about it, understood it entirely. Uh, we'll give him a couple days, then he's going to go to Iowa to start it back up again. Um, uh, there's no actual timetable. I don't anticipate it to be long, but we'll see how it plays out. Uh, give him a little bit of room to get things right, and then move it forward from there. Was there a point in this process where you thought it was best for him to go down before yesterday, or was it yesterday and then for you? No, we've been, you know, it's something we've been watching, obviously. Uh, I think yesterday, based on uh, part of it also is the, the, the lefties we're going to be facing here, potential for lefty and um, uh, Washington, um, there's was, there was different factors, but at the end of the day, you got to do what you think is best for him, and then what's best for him is going to be best for us. So we thought, uh, watching the whole thing unfold, uh, just talking to him, talking to Johnny, Maley, and uh, Skew get to work with them all the time, that this would be the best tack for right now. Uh, get him out, get him playing away from here, let him relax a little bit, unwind a little bit, uh, refocus, re like I said, reset, and we really anticipate good things. You guys, were pretty, uh, you guys were pretty adamant for a, a long time, uh, sticking by him and keeping him involved. Uh, what changed? Nothing. I'm still sticking by him. He's just, he's just playing in AAA, that's all. No, but I mean, uh, uh, sticking adamant about him staying in the big leagues with his club. And he did. Uh, but at some point, like I said, you have to, you have to be um, pragmatic. You have to do what's best for everybody. So we thought at this point that we weren't going to necessarily get him back to where we need him to be just by continuing the same path. Uh, that's one of the beauties of our sport is that you have this other option. If something's not going right, that you can get a guy reset. I've done it before. I've had it in, uh, in my past as a minor league instructor primarily and sometimes in the big leagues, but primarily as a minor league uh, hitting coach. I've been involved with guys. So it happens. It happens. Uh, it happens almost every organization, it happens to a lot of good players, that when they come back, things turn out pretty well. So it's not a matter of us not sticking with them anymore. We just thought this is the best way to go to really get them well so that we could utilize the best um, uh, side of Kyle moving forward. Have you, have you seen it like this, though, where a guy has had some really important hits in some huge pressure-packed spots and then he gets sent out? Objectively speaking, it's a little bit surprising to see this. Um, I don't know. You have to. You probably have to go listen through a list of names uh, specifically. I just know that uh, I can take pitchers as an example: Roy Halladay, or even Cliff Lee, uh, two really good players that had to be sent back to the minors to be reset. Uh, position player-wise, two guys I was involved with were Jack Cal and Devon White. Same thing. And those are two really good players. Uh, I know there's more. I just can't think off the top of my head. Of, uh, I mean, Jackie's not. I don't know if Jackie had to go back or not. Uh, there's been a, a long and illustrious list of guys that have gone through this. Uh, to me, the most um, illustrious examples are probably Halliday and uh, and uh, Cliff Lee.